So lowering the drinking age is not necessary, for it is doing the job that it is intended to do, which is to reduce the amount of um, fatalities and people abusing alcohol. So my opponent mentioned that yes, there are accidents, or that we didn't include the 21 to 24 age bracket um, for car accidents under the influence of alcohol. So yes, there are accidents in that bracket, but why would we want to increase the bracket to include even younger people? Because uh, these younger people will be more likely, well, they'll have easier access to alcohol, and therefore those young people are more likely to be driving with alcohol in their system. Um, and also, the 21-year-old drinking age is more effective, again, like I said previously, than the 18-year-old drinking age. Um, currently, according to the Center for Science and the Public Interest, high school seniors who cannot legally drink until age 21 drank less before age 21 and between ages 21 through 25 than did seniors in states with lower drinking ages. And this refers to that time period when America was experimenting with having, or several states were experimenting with having the drinking age lowered to 18. And even, and so, like I said, the high school seniors um, who were in states that had the 21-year-old drinking age, um, they chose not to, or they were less likely to drink compared to those with the 18 MLDA. And also, um, currently, according to um, news from Pride Surveys, the proportion of both junior and senior high school students who have consumed any alcohol during the year has dropped again um, for a third year in a row. Now, again, like I mentioned, this is an example of our current MLDA of 21 is effectively reducing the amount of students who are abusing or who are using alcohol. Um, and I could only see it getting worse if it was reduced to 18. And also, uh, my opponent mentioned test scores. She said, why do Europeans have higher test scores if they can, uh, as if it relates to the drinking? Well, maybe there's other aspects of that. It could relate to a better education system because scientifically it is proven that drinking um, does do damage to the brain. As according to the Human Relations Media Newsletter, um, the dangers of underage drinking go beyond the increased risk of injury or death. Uh, recent research suggests that drinking alcohol during the teen years can result in an, in an irreparable brain damage and an increased likelihood for alcoholism. And um, on an end note, I'd also like to add that um, underage drinking does not also harm or cause fatalities. It also affects the amount of money that taxpayers put into um, medical costs, lost days of work, um, and this is from the Pennsylvania lawyers at Monheit Law. And so, all in all, I'd like to conclude that there is not there is no urgency to change the current MLDA of 21 because it is effectively doing what it's set out to do, which is reduce the amount of fatalities and reduce the amount of underage drinkers. And so I'd like you to take that into consideration. Thank you.